please enjoy some Millie ASMR before we begin. She's just having a nice little snack before she goes outer space. So I got this second-hand uh, bubble bag bag from a friend who was immigrating and she needed to give it to someone so I took it. Um, I didn't see any brands on it. I assume it's just like a no-name backpack and Millie gives it a hard no. So I had to turn to bribing of course. I took her favorite snack, biltong, which is a South African uh, traditional treat unseasoned of course and then yeah she just checked it out sniffed around uh, cats are very curious creatures so of course she was gonna check it out I didn't expect her to go in on the first try because she is very smart and she <laughs> doesn't just fall for any of my tricks so here yeah, I just had to like gently, she was standing half in half out so I just like gently <laughs> pushed her bum in and placed her head into the bubbles and <laughs> she doesn't climb out because by now she was like okay something's happening, I've been tricked, I'm never falling for Biltom again, I've been tricked <laughs> and then yeah I just zipped her clothes, I pushed in all of her fur so nothing gets caught in the zipper and uh, there she is in her little space pod. We checked ourselves out in the mirror and Millie is heavily confused at this stage. I didn't want to put her in there too long on the first run so it was just to make her experience it really quick for a minute or two and there she is birthed back into the normal world and of course I gave her some Biltong again as positive reinforcement so she can associate this confusing experience with something nice and good. Here me and my partner took her out for her first ever trip outside and she obviously looks really uh, confused and a bit scared as you can tell by her large pupils but it's just because it's a new experience and um, yeah, checking out the bubble, looking at her surroundings. Uh, she definitely handled it a little bit better than I thought. Um, I knew she was going to be a little bit afraid, but she does look relatively calm. <laughs> I wonder what's going through her head right now. Like, where the hell am I? We picked up a friend along the way. We didn't want to make it too long of a trip, so we just walked around for a couple of minutes and then took a ride back. So this is day two, and this time I put on her harness and I opened the carrier so she can look outside. And um, she was a little bit scared, of course. But um, yeah, Millie is an indoor cat because I live on the second story, so she doesn't get the chance to go on outdoor adventures. So I'm using this bubble backpack to try and make her used to the outdoors. Very curious, very scared, <laughs> naturally. I live in a complex, so it is safe for her. And there's a ton of other cats that lives around here. So yeah, she actually took it a lot better than I thought. She is uh, relatively calm and just looking around, taking everything in. I was actually really happy to see that Millie stayed put inside the carrier, meaning that she definitely felt safe in there and she knew this is like the safe zone. Um, so I thought that was really good. She doesn't look as scared as the first time we took her out. Every time after a trip when we let her out inside the house, she's always extremely happy to be back and she is very vocal, she meows a lot and she rubs 
up against all the furniture, meaning that she's very relieved to be back in her safe little haven. And this is trip number three, a couple more days later. So we took her out of the carrier on, to let her walk around on the harness and there was yet another friend. Millie is used to other cats when we lived with my parents, although her social skills aren't really that on point anymore. Millie isn't 100% used to walking on a harness. She still feels a little bit uncomfortable and does the leopard crawl. I think she was trying to just get back into uh, any sort of house or indoor environment so I just picked her up and uh, took her back to her little pod and perhaps say goodbye to the new friend but she wasn't having it. We actually met another friend on our way back home. This cat actually lives in the same building, so they have seen each other a few times. Classic Muddy just acting as if nothing is happening, no one's there, ignoring this poor cat flat. And that's Muddy's cue, so we just took her home. So based on Millie's behavior and her reactions while she was in the bubble backpack, I think her experience, if she could have given like a rating out of 10 for her experience with the bubble backpack, I think she would have given it like maybe like a 6 out of 10. As a cat owner, it is a pretty functional carrier. Um, it's quite nifty in the sense that it's an actual backpack you can comfortable to carry it around and take your cat to the vet. I actually did take Nelly to the vet in the bubble backpack and it worked really nice. Um, personally, I think it's a much better option than a normal uh, box carrier or those more <laughs> old school carriers. So I think it's a really nice option for cat owners, if especially if you enjoy going on hikes yourself and you have an indoor cat and you want them to experience the outdoors, it's a really nice option. Yes. So of course Millie isn't super excited when I take out the carrier and she's not really keen on climbing in necessarily. But once I do have her in and we go outside and I open the carrier, she does feel safe in the, in the bubble backpack. So she does feel like it's her safe haven. If I take her out to walk on the harness, she, some, she walks around a bit. But she knows that she can retreat back into the bubble backpack whenever she feels unsafe. So I thought that's really nice. Um, of course, cats are... <laughs> not the best with not being in control so that's the only reason why you might have a cat that doesn't look like they're enjoying it that much but for the purpose of it being a cat carrier and something that you can take your cat with on adventures I think it's a really nice product so I did order a new cat backpack one that has a completely clear front and one that's expandable so i'll be doing a thorough product review of that bubble backpack and then you can decide for yourself whether it's something that you and your cat would find useful or helpful on your adventures or your vet visits so yeah be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss the product review of the lolly meow cat bubble backpack from me and Millie, thanks for watching and see you next time.